Alright guys, today we're going to do the fuel lines on an ES2100 Echo Shredder Vac Leaf Blower. Um, so you get a good look at it. First thing we're going to do is take the air filter cover and air filter off. Then a Phillips head or a flat head, we're going to take these two screws out and take the air filter assembly off. Now before we get a bunch of dirt and everything, we're going to hose everything off with a, a can of carb cleaner. Um, I'll put this in the uh, description along with fuel lines and, and carburetor and anything you possibly need to do this whole job. So we're going to rinse it all off and then uh, I'll, use the, I'll use the air hose and blow it all out. Alright, we got this kind of cleaned up. Now we're going to pull, all the, pull off this fuel uh, gas cap, dump out the gas, and we'll remove all the old fuel lines. They all, just the whole grommet comes out and everything. If you have to, you can just take a flathead screwdriver and pry the grommet out. Whatever you gotta do, just get the, the whole thing right on out. And then we'll just go ahead and get the carburetor on out and out of the way as well. Now, usually they'll come in a whole kit like that, and you just slide it in there, stab it, stab the fuel lines in. Um, I, I've got a huge roll of fuel line, um, and I got a buttload of these grommets, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shove this grommet in there. Just get the back in there first, and then use a flathead screwdriver to just kind of pry it into, into place until it's all the way in. They do the same with the other ones with the fuel lines on, just to get it pried into place. Now take, uh, cut your uh, fuel line into a point and then dip it into oil and then you're just going to stab it into the grommet. Get it in about an inch or so. Bring this hose up to the air filter, cut it off about the top of the air filter. Air filter, I mean the intake manifold. All right, cut the line off to the tip, stick it in the oil, stick it in the back hole of the grommet. This one be your vent. Stick it in there about an inch, and once again, cut it off the top of the uh, intake manifold. Then take that one, dip it in oil again, and then put the uh, uh, air vent in it. Then take the fuel line, dip it in the oil, stab it in the last hole. This time we'll pull it all the way out, cut the tip off, and we'll get a new fuel filter and stab it in there. Dip the new fuel filter in the oil. This makes it go into it easier. And put it in it. Now I'll leave this last one intact because that's going to be the one that's got the fuel filter on it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, primer ball on this uh, carburetor. Take these two uh, Phillips head screws out. Then you just pop the uh, old uh, primer ball out, pop the new one in, put it back together. Now, just so you know, this one is return, goes to the line that has no filter. The curved one on the top goes to the line that has the filter. So now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble. Um, we're gonna uh, clean off the air filter assembly and then put it back onto this air filter assembly on it like so then we're gonna go ahead and put the gasket back on it gasket on it like so now we're gonna go ahead and connect the throttle linkage to the arm it just slides right in um, I just need both hands to do it then we got the linkage put together we'll line the bolts up and get them into the intake and then we'll tighten the two bolts up now with some needle nose we're gonna connect the lines the the straight one on the bottom goes to this line. We're going to get that one on first. And then the curved one, it's hard to see back there because my phone sucks. But the curved one that's on the top goes to the line with the filter. Now we're going to spray this out with a can of carb cleaner. Uh, I use gum out. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you for that. Um, if it's too bad, you just put a brand new one on. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. As well as the fuel lines, the carburetor, uh, spark plug, all that. Uh, but I'm just going to rinse this out and then blow it out with the air hose. Um, it, you, if you rinse it out and you don't have an air hose, just set it out in the sun for you know 20 minutes, 15 minutes. It'll dry out. Then uh, put it back on uh, there and put the air filter, clean the air filter cover and put it back on. Then put gas in it. Put the cap on, you're ready to go. Alright guys, if this helped you anyway, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, show a little support. Um, any of the parts will need to be in the description. Um, today's t-shirt will be in the description.
If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. If you want me to wear one of your t-shirts, mail me one. Peace.